I think Adam is sincere in, in what he's bringing forward. I think he believes what he's doing. I also think he's wrong. Uh, I'm trying to get a bill through with support of my colleagues that will guarantee a referendum by the end of 2017. For the first time, put that into law, put it into legislation. This amendment could derail that. It's very unhelpful. It will cost us time. It will make it much more difficult to deliver the bill. Um, I don't doubt Adam's reasons for it are genuine ones, but I, I hope he'll reconsider. But he's not alone, is he, in, in thinking that it would be better to have a referendum sooner rather than later? I was going to say, point. I don't know whether he's alone with his amendment. There aren't many colleagues I've spoken to who are keen to support it. How many? I mean, are there any? I don't fact? know. I've, I've not found one yet, but there may be one or two. I, <laughs> I don't know. It certainly hasn't had a flood of support, because actually the Conservative Party is united behind the bill. And you're right. There are different opinions about when a referendum mm. should be held. Some people want one now. Some people agree with the policy, as I do, that we should try and get the best possible deal and then put that to the British people. Some MPs don't want a referendum referendum at all. All this amendment does, though, is play into the hands of those who don't want any referendum because it makes passing the bill more difficult. Do you think Adam Afriere is just going for headlines? Is he a publicity seeker? Well, I, I think he certainly had the effect, and I, the predictable effect, of taking some headlines. I'm a co-sponsor of James's bill. I entirely agree with everything uh, James said. Uh, I'm a strong supporter of the principle of a referendum, but it seems to me before you have a referendum, it's a good idea to know what the question is, and that's what the renegotiation is about. Now, Labour could have some fun with this, couldn't they? You could support Adam Afriere's amendment and then see what happens. Is that something you would uh, back? Well, I'm not in charge of deciding our policy position on this, but uh, well, I, do you think I, it should be? I would just say this um, to, to the Conservative Party, genuinely. Here we are again, squabbling about Europe. And what the public see is that they're interested in jobs, the economy, the NHS, uh, tackling crime, and here we are again within the Conservative Party. You just can't get your act together Labour's, and sort it out. Labour's also not united on this, which is why I put the question to you that actually there would be some in Labour's ranks who would dearly like to sign up to Adam Afriere's amendment to say let's have it sooner rather than later because they would like Ed Miliband to be a bit straighter with what Labour is going to do. Well, there'll, there'll be a debate on this as there is in all political because parties. There's a, because Labour split. <laughs> I, think uh, that uh, there will be a I look forward to the day Labour announces that they'll support James's Absolutely. bill because then there will be a real national consensus about the need to negotiate a new settlement for Britain within the EU and put it to the people in an in-out referendum. Well, personally, um, I, I think that there is a very strong case for giving people uh, a say on something as big as an issue as Europe. Come out, back the bill, um, rock I, the boat, Hazel. I don't Take have the opportunity. To, I don't have to <laughs> back the bill. Me, me to support a Tory bill, you are it's kidding. Not about, it's not about <laughs> <laughs> it's not about who brings it forward. Cross party bill, absolutely. We have some of your colleagues but, backing it but already. I, I but, tempting, but, they, but I they? genuinely think here you are again, squabbling about Europe. No, no, Stop it probably and not. deal with the issues that the public really. I think care this is about. a really important point. Actually, we're not. If you look at what's happened, well, one, Adam, one Conservative Adam, MP Adam's has come out squabbling. and said, "I think this should be different." Everybody else has united behind this bill. The Conservative Party has a fixed see. and united position. They support the bill that we're bringing forward. Oh, you, so you're not worried at all that I think Adam Afriere said oh, no, two, to two to five weeks. He said support will start to come for the amendment and as you say that could wreck your bill altogether so are you totally relaxed that he's just not going to no, get I'm any not, support? No I'm not relaxed at all um, I'm very concerned that even if it gets very little support we, if it gets selected by the speaker we will have to debate it that will take time we're already very short of time to get this bill through and it jeopardizes the bill's progress so but, I don't think it's going to get passed I don't think he's going to get the support from the Conservative Party he wants but it's unhelpful and it's actually putting at risk our chances of delivering that referendum. The problem is Stephen Doyle that people aren't convinced you know what happens in 2015 we you know we know not um, and David Cameron may not be Prime Minister in 2017 and the referendum doesn't happen even if this bill is passed you could pass legislation to to undo I mean I know but you could couldn't you I mean it could change uh, and this bill may not get through and that's why some people are saying let's go for it now well, I, I as already said I support James's bill because I don't think there's much point in holding a referendum about a question that we're still negotiating what the question is. Uh, what we need to do is to, re is to negotiate a new settlement for this country within the EU and then seek the public's uh, support for that new settlement. How likely is it that we get powers back, that there will be this great new settlement that uh, the Prime Minister talks about? Um, I think there may be a possibility of getting some if there is a renegotiation. Uh, there are things that need to be changed. I think everybody in Parliament, I think, Absolutely. thinks that it needs to be changed. We've had all of this conversation without remembering that in this Parliament we have legislated to provide for a referendum already. So there is, for the first time, on the if statute there's book, a major constitutional if there is a change. And our view has been that that's the time to do it, rather than picking an arbitrary date, either James's date uh, of 2017 or Adam Afriere's date of next year. It's better to do it when there is a, a, a process in the context of which... Now, 
my fear is a lot of the people who are arguing publicly for referendum actually want us out of the EU. It's a surrogate mm. argument. I'm really clear for my constituents over the river and for everywhere else in the country that coming out of the EU in economic terms, in jobs terms, in investment terms, in trading terms, would be the worst thing for Britain. I can understand the sort of we love Britain, we can go alone uh, argument, but actually in terms of real jobs, real money, real investment, real trade, uh, we think we ought to stay. And we're clear about that. And therefore, the referendum for us will be a referendum we want to argue okay. very strongly we should stay in the EU. And I hope and believe we'll win it whenever it comes. I might even be campaigning with you, Simon. Yeah, Goodness you go. me. <laughs> you haven't tempted Hazel over to your side. Thank you very much, James Water.